So hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, this is the first time that I am making an appearance on my YouTube channel, which is a little bit daunting. So we'll see how we go. It's like 33 degrees outside and I've closed all the windows. So I'm melting, it is so warm. <laughs> so anyway, I thought I would film a video explaining how I made a kind of now successful art business when I was only 15 years old. I'm now, I'm turning 19 in two days, so I'm still 18. I'm extremely lucky and proud to say that I'm booked up with my pet portraits and commissions an entire year from now. And it is finally giving me a decent income. So I thought I would just explain how I kind of started my business. Obviously it won't apply to everybody, but this is just my personal experience. So I actually started out using the Joanna Basford coloring books. Um, I absolutely adored that colouring book and I asked for a set of pencils, like a decent set of pencils to use in it. My mum actually bought me for my 15th birthday the 120 set of Polychromos by Fab uh, Faber-Castell. Faber-Castell? I don't know. And it was when I got bought those, my uncle asked me to draw his cat as a memory portrait um, as he had just passed away. So yeah, I basically, I drew his cat. Um, it was so scary. I remember trying so hard with it. Bearing in mind, I just turned 15 um, and oh, it was not that great. <laughs> but you know, it was a start um, and he absolutely loved it. And he still has it to this day. So then from that, um, I posted it on Facebook and then I got a steady amount of people asking for their pets to be drawn. And because I was 15, I was charging so, so little. I was charging like 10 pound a portrait. And because I was charging so little, um, people came to me and they were asking for a portrait for themselves. So when more people started coming to me asking for commissions, I set a price list and I started quite cheap. I started 40 pound for my cheapest piece. I think that was probably like size A4 or something. I can't remember. After maybe two, three, four portraits, um, the interest completely stopped. And I was really, really disheartened by it because I thought, wow, like all these people want me to draw their pets. And then all of a sudden it all stopped. And this is the point where I decided to become a lot more professional. So I actually upped my prices. And this is the first point I have um, for if you're just starting out in the whole like pet portrait business. And that is to not sell yourself cheap because at the end of the day, you're providing a talent, you're providing something that you are creating. And no matter how old you are, how young you are, you need to not sell yourself cheaply. So I raised my prices to about 70 pound as a kind of a starting price. And funnily enough, I started to get commissions again. So I raised my prices just that much. Um, and 70 pound, bearing in mind I was 15, the artwork I was giving out wasn't exactly the best, but people started coming to me again. And this is what I always say to people when they're too scared to up their prices, is that if you sell your artwork um, for cheap money, then people are gonna be less likely to come to you because they are not gonna, gonna get the quality that they want. However, if you charge a little bit more for your portraits, you're kind of already ensuring them the quality, that your work's gonna be decent, um, that you're gonna use good paper and pencils and everything like that. So yeah, when I um, started getting a few more commissions in, when I up my prices, I also opened my Facebook page. And a Facebook page for business is completely separate to like a personal Facebook page and they are dedicated purely for businesses. So I opened one of those and at this point I was barely like, I had barely anything to put on it, but I kept it open and I kind of invited a lot of my friends and family who I was friends with on Facebook and they liked it and then they started sharing it. And to this day, nearly four years later, my Facebook page is my biggest um, help when it comes to my business. It's the thing that people like the most on, it's the thing that people look at the most, it is the main way I get my commissions. Especially nowadays, social media plays an absolute huge part in any business. 
And I wouldn't even just limit it to a Facebook page. Set up an Instagram, set up a website, just get social media nailed and keep yourself active on it. So at the moment I'm posting, um, I try and post every day. If I don't post an actual post, then I at least try and post on my Instagram stories of what I'm doing. And I really try and keep my audience, especially on Facebook, really engaged with my posts, otherwise they leave. Um, I know that you can pay for advertising on Facebook and Instagram. I've actually only ever done this twice on Facebook and I got barely anything from that. So I would say the best advice is to keep all of your reach organic and not paid for um, and just see how you go from there. Another big tip is to be clear on what products you offer. So I have people coming to me all the time asking, mainly actually if I draw people as well as pets, and that is normally a massive no. I do not enjoy drawing people at all. You need to be clear with people on what media you use so they know um, I work primarily in coloured pencil and pastel and everybody who follows my page know that I do not paint, I do not do oil paint commissions, I do not do acrylic commissions, I do not do people. Make that super clear so you don't have people coming to you um, and trying to like beg you to do something that you don't do. That could lead you out of your comfort zone if you do choose to do it and then it can all go a little bit downhill. And this is a lesson that I learned because I had loads of people coming to me right when I started my business saying, can you draw people for me? And I had this one commission I remember and the reference photo was so bad. It was of these two people and they were on some holiday and they were so red, like in the face. Obviously they were hot or something and I tried to do it and it was absolutely dreadful. And I did not do well on it. And I had to say to her like, look, I just can't do this. I'm really sorry. So yeah, be clear from off on what you offer. So I have really built up with how I've organized my stuff um, and all my commissions. I remember right when I started, I wrote them down in like the back of a notebook. It was just like name, price, size, and that was it. I didn't keep in any like information. Um, and I just kind of gave them a rough estimate on whenabouts their drawing would be finished within the year. And last year, this really, really did me over because I started uni and when that happened, I realized that I was not going to hit any of the deadlines that I had promised people. And I had to send the hardest message out to every single one of my um, clients who had booked in to say, I'm really sorry, but your drawing, if I organize myself properly, isn't gonna be done for like another year. And I'm so grateful that everyone was so lovely about it, but wow, it was the hardest thing to do that because people are paying money, you know, they're paying quite a bit of money and to say that, you know, you're gonna have to wait literally a year longer is not cool. So from the off, you need to organize yourself super well. I now have a um, app called Airtable, um, which I use to store names, addresses. Um, I use a contract that I send out to people when they order. I take a 50% deposit. Um, so if they don't like the drawing, then I keep that deposit for my time and my effort and my work. And mainly I have slots. So I do two commissions a month at the moment. And when somebody orders, I give them the next slot and that is where they stay. They do not move about and I just, I stick to them slots. Another really big tip I have is your family and your friends. You need to utilize them. When you first start out, you basically need to work on getting your name out there. You need to work on letting people seeing your posts. And obviously, if you have supportive family and friends, you need to get them to share your work. You need to get them to tell their friends and their family. And that way, that is how I built um, my commission list and how I have quite a long waiting list and how that's kind of stayed quite long. And so not even my friends and family now, but if somebody random orders a commission from me, they'll tell their friends and family and then I get orders from them. And the last tip I have, and it is a massive one, I'd say probably one of the main ones, is do not get disheartened and just believe in yourself. Obviously, um, I started at such a young age in that kind of awkward age gap where you're trying to find your first ever job. And for me, um, I didn't. I stuck with my commissions because it was giving me money. And a lot of my family and friends did not believe in me. They just 
they wanted me to get a proper job, proper job, um, that would, you know, give me a steady income and all of that stuff. I constantly got told that art isn't my proper job, art isn't my real job, you can't do this for the rest of your life. Um, and I did, I completely stuck with it. And now, as I said, it is a business that I absolutely enjoy and not many people can say that they are 18 and they literally have their dream job already. And you have to remember, it takes years to build up a business. Like, I've been doing this for four years now and I'm nowhere near where I want to be. Yes, I have I have my brand and I have my logo and I have my name kind of out there, but I definitely still have time to grow and to build up my business. And that could literally take like 20 years. Like it takes a while to build your business. So yeah, do not get disheartened. Just keep with it. You have to stick to it. Even if you go like three months without a single commission coming in, just do not be disheartened. So yeah, there is a few of the biggest tips I could give you if you're starting out a business. Not even necessarily if you're young, it can be literally any age, um, but there are a few of the mistakes that I made, but obviously the whole thing is just a massive learning process, especially if you're doing it all by yourself with no like mentor or anything like that. So as I said, these are all my own personal experiences and it may shape out a little bit differently for you, but I really hope this video could be of somewhat help to anyone who is starting. Let me know in the comments if you have a business, if you do pet portraits or if you do something else and whatever you're doing, stick with it. So I hope you have a lovely day. I'm going to go and get a big cold drink because I am so warm. And please do consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Um, I would absolutely love it. I'm trying to build it up as much as I can. I also do have a Patreon um, and that is a monthly subscription kind of thing. It starts at three pound a month where you can get loads of exclusive content from me, loads of exclusive drawing stuff. As I said, I am a colored pencil and a pastel artist. So if you're interested in either one of those mediums or both, then um, yeah, consider joining my Patreon. So yeah, I hope you all have a lovely day and I will speak to you all soon. Goodbye.